Review copy provided by PlayStation. Your Michael Huber comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the night. Number 47, Michael Huber. It's a new year, which means the start of the 2017 Major League Baseball season is underway, accompanied by the annual release of Sony's flagship franchise, MLB The Show. Sony San Diego has had the bases loaded for years now, but that doesn't mean they're ready to take it easy, as they're swinging for the fences once again. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, an intriguing matchup. For those new to the game, baseball is all about strategy, reflexes, and mind games. MLB The Show captures these qualities beautifully in an effort to be as realistic as possible, right down to the presentation in an MLB Network broadcasting style. Commentator Matt Vaskersian is joined by New Editions Harold Reynolds and Dan Plesak. The commentary is solid in most game modes, but noticeably repetitive in Road to the Show, where the focus is only on one player. First offering on its way. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. The most notable change, however, is to ball physics. In years past, the spin and direction of the ball were calculated based on how a ball hits a wall, but now the physics have been redesigned using an actual bat. This further contributes to an authentic game of baseball with much more realistic and varied ball paths. Additionally, catching and throwing has been tweaked. Hundreds of new animations help reduce the number of exploits on the base pads, thankfully cutting down on the use of cheap bunts and steals. The majority of game modes return from previous years, including Road to the Show, which even allows you to import your character from last year's game. Newcomers simply create a position player and attempt to rise through the ranks of the minor leagues to the majors. Performing well earns XP that can be used to upgrade a plethora of skills, and items earned from card packs may also be equipped for additional stat boosts. This year features a new documentary-style presentation that adds a variety of decisions which directly affect your player's future. Managers may even ask you to change positions to fit an organizational need. While most of the interactions feel stiff and awkward, the extra layer of customization with your player is still appreciated. It also helps contribute to a greater connection with your player, and it's hard not to feel a sense of pride when making meaningful contributions for the team. The most substantial addition is Retro Mode, which aims to recapture the simple feel of 8-bit gaming. Foul ball! The controls are stripped down to the basics, with only one button assigned to hitting and pitching. While pitching, the analog stick can increase or decrease speed, and the ball can even be moved in flight for some dramatic physics. The additions of Ken Griffey Jr. commentary and classic sound effects help emulate the retro presentation. Retro mode is a great addition for players looking to play a game of baseball without the complexity and length that typically accompany a 9-inning game. Unfortunately, this mode can't be played online, but it encourages local battles on the couch like the days of old. Even if you don't understand baseball, chances are Retro Mode will have you hooked and itching for just one more game. Franchise Mode returns with an enormous amount of depth. Here you can manage nearly every single aspect of the game, from on-field decisions, player salaries, trades, lineups, and training regimens, just to name a few. It can be incredibly overwhelming to stare at all these numbers, but thankfully you have the ability to manage as much or as little as you want. You can also seamlessly swap back and forth between playing and managing as many times per game as you like. Franchise can also be played online, but coordinating with a large group takes a considerable amount of time and commitment. But the option is still there for diehard enthusiasts. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Diamond Dynasty is all about building a dream team of old and new players from baseball cards. Cars can be obtained through packs, which are purchased with real money or stubs, the in-game currency. While this mode has always given the advantage to players willing to fork over some cash, this year rewards packs at a slightly quicker pace. Your universal profile now levels up, and a suite of challenges offer packs and stubs upon completion. It's a step in the right direction, but the slow accumulation of packs, combined with real money purchases, diminishes the excitement of obtaining valuable players. It can also feel disheartening to save for a pack that offers you very little value. There are also a few smaller modes like Home Run Derby, Post-Season Play, or the Challenge of the Week, which has you compete against online leaderboards in ever-rotating situations. While these modes may seem small in comparison to the rest of the package, their attendance helps bolster the impressive amount of ways to play the show. Online play is more stable than it's been in recent years, but remains hampered by sporadic instances of lag. Hitting and pitching require split-second timing, so even the smallest amount of latency is detrimental to the flow of the game. Thankfully, offline multiplayer with up to four players is smooth, with no glaring issues. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. 
MLB The Show continues to improve year after year. This is the biggest show yet, with a tremendous amount of options and ways to play. A few online hiccups and microtransactions hamper the overall package, but nearly every other aspect of the show is wonderful. Whether you're a veteran of the franchise or a newcomer intrigued by baseball, MLB The Show 17 is a towering home run. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Easy Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com slash easyallies to see our other videos. And consider becoming a patron to help us make more. And we'll go to short way to retire the shot. Review copy provided by PlayStation.